Hello and welcome to another episode of the DMG Tech Show. I'm your host, Jonathan Parkinson. And in this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to transfer files from your internal storage to your external storage, or what we call an SD card. That SD card will be that little micro card that you can put into your phones. So first things first is we're going to need to open up the Play Store. Uh, first things we're going to need is going to be the B1 archive. So just type in B1. You can go ahead and press enter to search and it should find it right away. There we have. As you see, I already have it installed. Now if you do not have the B1 free archiver, you can always download a different one. Uh, this is just a file browsing that I have come accustomed to and has worked extremely well for me for quite a long time now. So once you have that installed, you want to open that up wherever you have that located. And you're going to come to a, a screen that looks similar to this. Now, what we're going to do here is you're going to see these are all different names of folders that's within your internal storage of your phone. Some applications create their own files, such as Beyond Pod, if you see that very top one, that is from the Beyond Pod Google Play Store. But what we're mainly going to do here is actually move applications from one folder to your uh, SD card. So that could be music, movies, whatever you want, whatever it is, you can always move that over. Now any core files, that is going to be for core files that I mean for games or the applications, you want to leave those actually on your phone. So application core files, you need to make sure they stay on there. But anything like I say, movies, music, that can all be pushed over to give your phone some more storage space. So we will go into download, see what I've downloaded. So what I'm going to do, is we'll just go into wallpaper and icons. So I have this transparent icon here and to move that to my external hard drive you're just going to tap and hold it and you'll get a list of all these different functions. Now if you want to keep something on your phone and then as well as move it to your external card so have it in two different places let's say you're doing it for a backup reason then you're just going to push the copy. But for this since I don't really care I'm going to use the move button which is going to move the entire file. So press the move and you're going to come up with something like this. What this is saying right here if you see on the very top where it says it shows a little house icon download and wallpaper icons. That is saying that we are in the wallpaper icon folder which is where that transparent icon what I just touched and held. We're inside that folder which is again inside the downloads folder which is again inside the home. So what we're going to touch is next is going to be the home button and you're going to come to with this which is the very very beginning what we started at. Key is you're going to touch the home one more time and you're going to get a list of this. Now that slash dash storage dash SD card one that is going to be the name of what my external storage SD card is. Yours might be named different but it's going to be under something like that. So go ahead and touch that. And now these are the files that I have on my SD card. You might have different files, so don't be worried if your files look different. Now all I'm going to do is push move here, and it's going to move the file directly to here. Piece of advice is, you want to actually come up and touch the three dots in the corner. And you're going to want to create a new folder. Now you can name this folder whatever you want, so if you're going to be moving music, it might be a good idea to name music. As for this, we are going to be doing photos, so I will do a photo, press OK. And now as you see on the very top, it says slash storage slash SD card, which was our external where we went to just a minute ago. And now we created a new folder, so that's why it says the photos on top. So if I touch the SD card right there, as you see we go back, and you can see the folder, or the folder photos that I just named, the very bottom, second to last, and that's what We'll go right back into it and you see it comes back up. So now all you got to do is touch the move here button and there you go. File has been moved. So now when your file has been moved it's going to take you directly back to where you grabbed that original file. So if you see on top it's the home icon, downloads, then wallpaper icon. So we'll go back to the home, push home one more time. We will go into that external storage. We will scroll to the folder that I created which will be photos and there's the transparent icon. So again, this is really good for music, movies, TV, anything that you're trying to save on here that you don't necessarily need on your actual device, such as, you know, core files for the AP, or sorry, for the applications. It's a good idea to move it over there. And that's pretty much all you need to do. 
So just remember that your, uh, your files are saved in certain locations. I'm your host, Jonathan Parkinson, and thanks for watching.